This is Polly Watts. This is Pooley. All the way from Shasta to assist me today. Oh, the pleasure is mine. Now you wrote in your letter that you were planning to start a school of your own. Yes. Are you going to be teaching the students in your own home, or the local church has agreed to let us use the hall until the Shastans can build a schoolhouse? I brought your students gifts to help further their education. Metal nibbed pens for writing oh. Oh. with ink. Oh, you are truly generous and. It's an honor for us to have you here today. We have much to teach. Let me call the students in. Good morning, children. Good morning, Miss Pooley. We have a special guest teacher here with us today, Mrs. Polly Walk. Will you please say good morning to Miss Polly Walk? Good morning, Miss Polly Walk. And introduce yourself. I am Emma, and I am 13. I am Jedediah, and I am 10. I am Martha, and I am 9. I am Eric, and I am 8. I am Samuel, and I am 6. Good morning, students. It's a pleasure to be with all of you today. You may be seated. Children, I want to remind you how important it is to come to school washed. Cleanliness is a virtue that must be practiced, and if neglected, you may be punished. Does everyone understand? Yes, Mrs. Lily. I also want you to remember that manners are a necessity on all occasions. Jedediah, will you please read number 25 of the rule disobeyed on the punishment list? Yes, Miss Lily. Number 25 on the punishment list for doing any mischief about the place. Did I not see you chasing the girls this morning with a unfavorable toad? Yes, Miss Pooley. Now, Jedediah, don the dunce cap and go to the corner. Let's commence with our three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic. We'll start with reading. Mrs. Polly Wog, would you read the reading lesson today? Yes, Mrs. Pooley. Now, students, as we practice reading, I want you to pay careful attention, and afterwards we will discuss frankly the meaning of the story. Today, we'll be reading the story of the little red hen. Uh, Emma, I would like you to be the narrator, and Martha, would you read the little red hen? I believe I have one more copy here for you. America, would you please read the dog? And Pearl, would you read the cat? Samuel, would you please be the pig for us today? You may take your place. The story of the little red hen. Once upon a time, a dog, a cat, a pig, and a little red hen lived on a farm in a field of golden wheat. One day, the little red hen found some grains of wheat scattered on the ground. And so she did. The little red hen planted and watered the grains of wheat. Very soon the wheat began to grow and the green leaves came out of the ground. The sun shone and the wheat kept growing until it was tall, strong, and ripe. It was ready to be cut. It was soon filled with wheat. Who will help me take the wheat to the mill to be ground into flour? Wolf, wolf, not me. Family, not me. Wait, wait, not me. And I'll just do it myself. And so she did. The little red hen brought the wheat to the mill, ground the flat wheat into smooth, powdery flour, and carried the heavy sack of flour home. Who will help me knead this flour into dough? Wolf, wolf, I won't. Well, 
and so she did. The little man hand mixed the flour into sticky dough and kneaded it into a loaf. We will help me bake this dough to make it into bread. Oh, fluff, I'm all. Down now, I'm all. And so she did. The kitchen filled with the delicious scent of baking bread, and the other animals came to see what was happening. The little red hen took the warm, fluffy loaf of bread out of the oven and set it on the table. You will help me eat this warm, tasty bread. Well, Fluff, I will. Now, I will. Cluck, cluck, no, I will. And so she did. The entire loaf. Oh, yes, she did. And that's the story of a little red hen. <laughs> Thank you. You children may have a seat. Excellent job. <laughs> now let's discuss the meaning of the story. What do you think the moral of the story is? What's it trying to teach us? Martha? Don't expect um, somebody to do all the work and then you get the credit for it. Mrs. Pooley, these are right smart students. They understand that if we want to share in the reward, we must share in the work, too. Thank you, Mrs. Polywog. Now, let's commence with our arithmetic. Jedediah, I see you've ceased being a rascal. Come join the class. Students, take out your slates. If you're joining class from another time, this would be the moment to get out a piece of paper and a writing utensil. We're going to continue our study of multiplication tables, and today we're going to focus on multiples of five. Everyone, recite with me. Five times one is five. Five times two is ten. Five times three is fifteen. Five times four is twenty. Five times five is twenty-five. Let your voices be heard. Five times seven is thirty-five. Five times eight is forty. Five times nine is forty-five. Five times ten is fifty. Very good. Now, with your slates or paper, I want you to write the correct answer and hold it up to show me. The first problem is 3 times 5 equals 
first of all, you dip just the metal nib into the ink. And then you use your blotter paper to remove any excess ink. And then you write. You're going to press gently onto the paper, but firmly. And this is what gets the ink flowing. If you don't have enough ink, you just dip it back into the ink well. There we go. Now, here are your pens. And you may write your names at the top of your copper plate alphabet sheet. Now, I want you to study all of your letters. For tomorrow, you're going to write all of the alphabet. Mrs. Pooley, do you know a good sentence that the students could practice that would use all of the letters of the alphabet? I do. If you write, the quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog, you will write every letter of the alphabet. Now when you're done, you just put your pen into the water with the nib down. Let me bring that to you. There you go. Jedediah, I see you are using a careful hand. And you can put your papers into the middle of the table to dry. Good work, Samuel. Well done. And well done all. Well, it's important for us to exercise our bodies as well as our minds. So let's go outside and play graces. <laughs>